is 8.26, and I'm going to wrap some presents for everyone, and I'll talk to you, well, I'm, I'm wrapping presents for my sister, and yeah, I'm, and oh yes, um, I'm going to try to vlog all the way, I'm going to vlog every single day up to Christmas, from now until Christmas, and yeah, and then, what was I going to say, oh yeah, I have some sad news, my guinea pigs are going to have to leave because my dog, right there, really wants to eat them and he, actually they just made a noise and now he's staring off into my room where, right over there so i have to give him away and yeah so i'm really sad about that but i'm glad they're going to be able to get a better home without any dogs trying to eat them but yeah and i'll talk to you well i'm going to show you what i've been wrapping because i'm a horrible rapper <laughs> And so I wrapped this present. This was like my best one. So this one, you know, brilliant. Look at that. This one, it's really gorgeous. Oh, yes. That. And then I'm wrapping this one right now. So, yeah. I'm going to keep wrapping and then talk to Lena. Bye. Now and I'm finally actually going to get ready for the day. I'm going to go to Best Buy and Pet Store, Pet Smart, and some other Costco stores like that with my sister and my mom. And so we can get some presents for other people and my dog. And yeah, and I'll show you what I'm wearing once I get it on. So, so I just finished getting ready. I'm wearing this little headband that I got from Forever 21. And then I have this, um, and then I just brushed my hair out and took it out of my braid, which made it all wavy. And then I'm wearing this high shirt on the front and then in the back. Let's see if you can. On the back, it says bye. I don't know if you could see that or not, but it says bye. And then I have these maroon pants on, and then I'm just going... Get, and I have these little blue socks on. Yay! And I'm going to get some shoes on now. I'm just gonna wear my Uggs. So, yeah. My goals right now. I'm picking out some yarn, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it when I get home. But, yeah, I'm gonna go with that spot. I'm wearing a giant jacket right now because it's getting cold now. Right when I got my jumbo juice, of course. Disconnected. Connected. Okay. Anyways, um, I'm drinking some jumbo juice, and it's almost gone. And we went to okay, so we went to jumbo juice. Michael's, which I, I vlogged there. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make a dog bed out of a crate. So all you're going to need for this is a crate, some sand paper, um, any um, chalkboard paint, or normal paint. Um, I feel I found that um, chalkboard paint makes a better finish, so I recommend chalkboard paint and any blanket or pillow that would you like to use inside to create a little dog bed and i will yeah and then that's what i'm going to be doing and i got this at michael's and then my i just found this in my dad's um shed over there and yeah all of these materials are very accessible michael's has um all of them i'm pretty sure um so yeah first thing that you want to do is take your sandpaper and sand down the whole thing, except for two or three, depending on how big your box is. I'm doing three. These three pegs, I'm not going to sandpaper because I'm gonna be knocking these off later, but I'm gonna sandpaper the whole thing. Other than that, um, just so when my pet or my friend's pet, this is actually a Christmas present, um, goes inside, they won't get many splinters or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sandpaper it.
to take this Martha Stewart Crafts Vintage Decor Paint and paint the whole box um, this grayish brown color. And I just poured some of that onto one of the planks so I didn't have to waste anything, any plates or anything. And I'm just going to paint the whole thing and I'll get back to you then. Okay, so I'm just going to continue and painting this. And I'm just doing the inside first. Um, I don't really know why I started doing that, but... Um, yeah, and then there's just like this giant crack right here that I just noticed and I started painting. Um, but I think it's kind of rustic and cute and it's going to be covered um, by the pillow at the end. So I like that. And then um, you can use a normal paintbrush like this or you can use a sponge brush or whatever kind of thing you would like. But I like the rustic kind of look of the, how the paintbrush looks. So I'm just going to continue doing this throughout the whole box. Okay, so I'm almost done making the crate part, and I'm just going to finish painting the inside, um, bottom floor, and I just have the sides done in the inside, and I brought it inside because it is dark now outside, and then after I finish doing the inside, I'll show you I'm going to be making and painting some little um, stool step things from the bottom. So it is raised. So this is the finished box that I have done or crate. And it just, it looks the same on the outside. All I've done is paint the inside. And now I'm gonna move on to the next. So I just wanna demonstrate how we're gonna make a pillow cover for the pillow that's gonna go inside the doggy bed. We've cut a piece of fabric. And we're gonna fold fabric over, cut it just to the edge. And we're gonna do a little flap here, make it a nice finish, and then sew up the sides of the seams and then leave this open so that you can always remove the interior pillow and wash the cover. Okay, so now I'm just taking these little knobs that I got from Michael's craft store also and painting them with this um, Craft Smart acrylic paint in blue or in denim actually. And I'm just going to take some of the paint and brush it on and paint the whole, paint all of them, sides, um, and then I'm going to hot glue them onto the crate. Okay, so now I've just finished painting them blue and I'm going to let them dry. And then I'm going to use wood glue or hot glue, I'm not quite sure yet, and hot glue them onto the bottoms of there so they stand, so it stands up just about this much higher. So now I'm just taking this folk art acrylic paint in the color, um, I'm not sure what the color, just pla plaid, or, or plaid right there. And then I just squirted that out right here. And then I'm just going to mix the dark one and the lighter one together. Just so it gives it a little bit of a streaky mixed kind of color. And now I'm going to take this color and put it onto this, which I'm going to write the dog's name that I am making this for, which is Calvin. Let's use this Elmer's Pro Bond wood glue and attach the very bottom. Uh, of the um, hutch thing to the little thing so it looks like that and then <laughs> we just have to wait for it to dry for 24 hours and then it is done. On this little plank that has now dried um, I'm going to be writing the dog's name which is Calvin so I'm just gonna go and write that with a sharpie. So now I'm just going to glue the Calvin sign on with some hot glue, but you can also use a nail or something, but I just decided to go with hot glue. So I'm just going to put that under it and above it just to ensure that it will not come off.
And then we just have to wait for that to dry and we're finished. Okay. Well, so I we're watching the sound of music and then we're going and we as in me and my sister. And so we're going to finish our movie and then we're going to go to sleep. So yeah, oh I'll show you how the crate turned so out. So this is what it looks like and I'm really happy with it. It is super cute and it's this very nice, like, rustic color. I like how you can kind of see through it like that. And then the little Kelvin thing is so cute. And hot glue is dry now. And so cute like that. And then we have here the pillow that turned out really well. And that's what it just looks like underneath. And you can take the pillowcase off so you can wash it just in case um, the dog pees on it or something happens like that. So I'm, I think that they will really like this. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.